got this. Welcome, Clutch Guy Crew, to Road to the Show number 90. I would like to increase my power. That's what I'm looking for right here. So far, it is hiding from me. It is hit of no power. Yes, not. And we will be raising instead our arm strength. Let's do it. We want to have a cannon of an arm. But I really want to raise the power. So if that could show up soon, that'd be great. We're just not getting enough runs across the plate this season. Let's get some more production from our offense. Yeah, the real life angels could use this speech because I'm actually not too mad about the pitching for the real life angels this year. It's more the offense. Every time we pitch good, the offense is absent. They took the day off. Let's choose a uniform. Weird combination, but I'm gonna wear the City Connect uniform with the Disney era Angels hat. Sure, why not? Let's do it. And we are playing in Houston. The roof is open, which must mean it is a very nice day here in Houston. My goodness, their record is very scary. There I am talking to Jared Walsh and young Michael Stuff. Not gonna lie, this hat does go pretty well with the rest of the uniform in my opinion. And I gotta say, California lately has been feeling a lot like Houston. I've been to Houston twice in my life. First time, not that bad. Second time, oh my god, this guy takes forever. And oof. I'm really wanting to hit the baseball hard off him for how long he takes the pitch. But California, it's been humid, it's been hot, and that is how I felt the second time I went to Houston. It has been nasty, and I'm hoping to make this guy hurt. Okay, because he takes forever to pitch. Just look at this, bro. So he's set up like that, kind of an intimidating stance. He has to rock the baby, then he comes to this, then he moves his foot again, then he finally pitches the ball. My God, okay, dude, can we not do that? I, do you really need to go through all of that to get your rotation down? And, yep, every time, every pitch, it seems like he has to go to it. Here we go. And this is fouled off. I will not strike out to a guy who is pitching like that. I refuse. What are your pitches? Got a five-pitch mix. He's got three breaking balls that he could throw to me. But I have a feeling he's going to keep sticking with fastball here early in the game. And this is not going to be a strikeout. I told you I will not strike out to somebody who pitches like that. So at least I lived up to that part of my deal. But I did not get a hit. So that is where I am disappointed in myself. Alex Bregman is up to bat. I'm playing the line on him. Let's see if I can protect this line. Make sure it doesn't sneak down and it goes the other way. That's basically the shortstop's ball. Michael Stefanik doing it no problem. All right, get me back in the batter's box, bro. I need to face this guy again. Luis Garcia uh, with the rock a -a baby technique. Come on. Yep, take your sweet time. Here we go. Waiting for the pitch. Can I crush? Oh, my God. That's a rollover to first. Dang it. It's really hard to get your timing down. Was that Josh Bell? Josh Bell and Astro? Is that who I just saw playing first base? I think I did. Anyways, here we are again. This time, I need to get a hit. Come on. We need to tie it up. And I... Uh, oh, that, that hit me. But that counted it as a swing. I wanted to check swing. But no. Didn't get it. And of course, they call that a strike on the swing that hit me. Oh my god. This guy's got me all over the place. I am too distracted by his pitching form. But although he's not doing it here because he's out of the stretch. Come on. And that's a foul ball. Thank goodness. Staying alive. Let's do this. One out. Top five. Down by one. Need to tie this up. He's finally in the stretch. Take advantage of that, Austin. Wait for the right pitch. That might be good enough. Maybe no. I get a good amount of my PCI on that one, and we don't even get the runner to tag up. That is embarrassing. That is sad. And, of course, now Astros have this big lead. Justin Verlander is coming out of the bullpen? That makes no sense, and that's a foul ball. Why, dude? I got to face this guy who rocks the baby to bed first, and now I got to face Justin Verlander, one of the best pitchers around, and oh my god, you better run, you better run, that is Josh Bell, thank goodness that was foul, okay, we sit 0-2, we've gotten a lot of sliders in this game from both pitchers, here we go, and this is hit, and it will go foul, I'm just swing happy right now, because my hit streak is on the line, and I am 0-4-3 on the day, 
So I'm waiting for the pitch to hit. And this is going to be up the middle. Okay, there we go. And he's going three. And it's a bad throw, so he's safe. Yep, with that confirmed Josh Bell right there, by the way. You can see him standing at first base. But finally, I continue my hit streak with a slow single up the middle. I'm still baffled that Justin Berlander has come out of the bullpen. Let's see if I can do something here. Swing and a miss. And no, out by a million light years. That was very embarrassing. And they get the win, as they should. They dominated us this game with the Rockabye Baby and Verlander out of the bullpen. Almost unfair. Okay, really hoping this next time around, this next game, we don't got to face a pitcher that's rocking a baby to sleep. Who's it going to be? It is Jose Urquidy. And did that say he was 15-0? Is that what I read? I think that is what I saw. That is nuts. Okay, how do you pitch? I am the leadoff batter, so I can see all of it. Oh, look, you pitch pretty normal. Right, trying to hit that Crawford box over there, but unfortunately, I was too late on that one. Come on, we want to get to the 400 batting average also. You know, lay it off, and you'll finally get a good pitch eventually. Let's see if it comes on this one. What do you throw? You only got four pitches. It's fastball and breaking stuff. Here we go. And ball outside. All right, nice. Really attacking the outside part of the plate. I'll take it to the Crawford boxes if I can do that. That circle change had me all thrown off going down to a knee. 2-2 two -two count. Let's stay alive. Make sure we do not strike out here. And this should have been long gone. I had it right there, but I just shot it towards the outside of the PCI. Unfortunately, is he going to throw me a breaking ball? And I fouled it off just barely. I am expecting the slider or the curve, but he keeps throwing fastball circle change. Expect fastball now. And, oh, barely stayed alive on that slider. Okay, you finally got it. What's he going to throw here? Be ready for anything now. And this is going to be up the middle. Okay. Hit streak continues in the first at bat. That's what I like to see. Takes the pressure off my shoulders. Hello, Josh Bell. You are one of my favorite cards on my Diamond Dynasty team. But, you know, right now I'm kind of hoping you lose and you play bad. Jose, you're curdy. You're cur What am I saying? Jose, you're kitty has a uh, oh david fletcher no doubt bomb oh my god almost got it up to the train tracks david fletcher becoming a power hitter what in the first inning we lead two to zero with our first two batters amazing the boys love it all right here i am to greet him you see the noticeable height difference between us but david fletcher i was not expecting that all right look at this one david fletcher gets it high but you know in real life david fletcher he loves to hit the high pitch and he absolutely got all over that one i love it okay nicky lopez a member of the astros batting over 300 interesting and this ball easy one here stays flat for me no bad hop and gotcha i'll tell you one thing the field we play on for softball currently filled with bad hops somebody needs to rake that field because I, I i honestly combined with me being hit in the face a couple years ago with an infield that just sucks it freaks me out and i really think every ground ball that hits me is going to be a bad hop so i'm kind of jumpy a lot Anyways, that's uh, why I like these Major League fields, because you know, you never get that kind of hop, because, you know, the ground, they always rake it, and I always rake the ball. Dang it, that would have been amazing if I were to rake it and get it fair. Uh, hopefully the next one we will get right here, waiting for this pitch from your kitty. This, oh my god, really felt like I had that time to take it the other way. Anyways, yeah, uh, combined being hit in the face, obviously a little jumpy because I uh, don't like being, oh my god, that's a ground ball. I don't like being hit in the face, and that has kind of scarred me for the future ever since, and I'm very jumpy with ground balls in the infield, for sure. And now we have Josh Bell, who will for sure hit into a double play, right? Come on, we need it here. Josh Bell, good for me in DD, but not road to the show. Oh, 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 I got it. Oh my god, I can throw him out. I can throw him out. And you are done. Okay, you know, no double play, but I knocked it down, stayed with it, and got the out. And we have two more runs on the board, and I could add two more 
right here. Here we go. And this is foul. Just got to wait on that low change up, Austin. You got to wait on it and turn. I don't know who's on first, but hopefully we get two more runs with one swing of the bat right here. Come on. Here is Kleschka hitting that low pitch again, but this time it's just going to be a fly out. Yeah, I wouldn't tag either if I were you. Hopefully we can stay with this lead. I'm really enjoying this, and it got even better. Justin Verlander comes out of the bullpen again. This is just mind-boggling to me. It doesn't make sense, and this is not going to be anything. It's going to be another ball hits to the outfield that finds nothing except a glove. All right, well, like I said, at least we got that first hit out of the way, so all that pressure has been lifted off my shoulders. Look at this guy, dude. Shea Whitcomb. Never heard of him, but he's about to be the third out in this inning. Oh, yeah, pop up easy underneath that one. I got it controlled, and I got this. Love it. Still got time for probably one more at-bat. I'm hoping I can get another hit with a runner on. And Hector Neris now on the mound. Top nine. And, oh, that sinker. That sinker had some good sink on it. I'll tell you that. Come on. Let's get a second hit. Let's stay here and fight in the box with a good at-bat. That one wasn't that good of a swing at all. Come on now, you're down 0-2, he has you right in his pocket, but not for long. Alright, I'm just swinging at everything, I am Mr. Swing Happy. But if Swing Happy pays off, then what does it matter? So let's make it pay off, let's get the ultimate result. Why, Austin, there was no point in swinging at that, there was no reason. Very late decision for me to swing, and okay... It's a little close right now, but if we can just get this out on Altuve, we won't have to worry. There it is, right there, into my glove. I got this game over. We beat the Astros. We split the games in this episode. And if you made it to the end of this video, I want you to comment, Verlander out of the bullpen? Really? Like the video, subscribe, tell your mom, your dad, your grandma, grab your pets, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, everybody knows, subscribe to that one already. I got this, you got this, we all got this, and I'll see you next time.